what's up everyone it's Dolbeck today we are going to speak about how to be a menace on the battlefield as a melee in new world Aeternum. all right so uh, i'm gonna speak about a couple topic uh, at first i want to speak about the position man because i feel that as a melee the position man is like the main thing for you if you're at the wrong place you die it's instant there's nothing to do about it. If you're at the wrong place, you're die. Like, it's just that. This is the complete thing about me. If you just, like, as a mage, if you have a rapier or a blunderbuss, you can escape with a net shot. But as a melee, if you have, like, a great axe and hammer, the charge, someone can be behind you and block you. So, like, it's really hard. You don't have two weapons to escape most of the time. Like, And, you know, as a mage, you can shoot from distance. So, it's easier to not do position mistake so position mistake gonna happen a lot um as a midi and this is the main reason why people die and i'm gonna explain uh, a couple really quick just what come in my mind right now uh, i made kind of a script for the video but i don't want to be like a robot so I, i'm just kind of go step by step and then we're gonna see what happened at the end so uh i made a quick thing in my head you're gonna see uh most of the time in opr uh you see i'm gonna just take everything on the side so you guys can see there's the objective there on the middle all right there's gonna be a flag there and a flag there and then there's a, another one a below but right now we are just gonna speak about those two flags and there's the respawn the enemy respawn is there all right in this section of the map there is some pillar and in those pillar if you just go in and there's some enemy around it like this and your enemy are like that and you just go in we can believe that you're gonna have some people on your two side that's gonna hit you and you're gonna die all right but the same thing can happen on the opposite if they are pushing you right there because it's gonna this gonna happen a lot all right you're gonna get out of the the middle and then they're gonna come there and you see there's like a, a bottleneck right there where the people are gonna fight and just staying there is like nothing happen and nothing really do anything and you can do, can lose at long term because your angle is worse than the enemy almost so right there you're gonna push on the two side while keeping like your your tank is just gonna have fun tanking right there you don't need more like that three to four melee there and then uh this is why i'm i'm gonna speak later uh you need to know your role about being a melee like you need to know okay i'm tanky i need to do this uh, i'm squishy but i got movement i need to do that so like the tank need to be at the good position right now we are speaking about position man and the uh, assassins people can go flank but the only moment that the assassins people can go flank is if your tank is positioned right you see what i mean like uh let, let's say as example that your tank is not there and the main enemy is just running in straight line all right you're gonna come and you're gonna flank maybe you're gonna like pick one or two enemy but it's usually the the main zerg and the bru the bruiser and the healer that is used to follow the bruiser they're gonna stay together the, the one that you're gonna pick here behind is gonna be like someone that is brain dead is just like getting bait you see like if you fight go good people it's not re really gonna work and yeah but you know as an assassin sometimes it's the only thing you can do is arrest people till you have a melee that come and this is one of the main problem uh into the opr there's like a lack of balance but I don't really care about this part, but I know that some people really care about it. But because mostly if you're a melee and you only play one build, you feel it more. Um, there's a lack of balance. There's sometimes more healer in one team and less healer in the other. Sometimes there's no front line. Uh, sometimes there's one team that is all front line, one team that is all archer. So like the front line are just winning straight up. The archer people all have like 10 kill plus, but the the melee people won like and died a lot so it's kind of how it's happened um, don't get jabated into a, a zerg this is mostly that your position man is like uh, if you flank like this you see um <clears throat> i'm gonna take 
you get out and you flank like this. You see it's longer to flank on this side than this side. Right there. And right there you're going to have some more escape ability. So right there you you better flank there. And you're going to have more chance to cut the, the retreat. Because if someone push them there. Uh, they're not going to be able to escape. You see what I mean? So coming there and arresting them is like the best thing you can do at this moment. And uh, you only pass by by this side right there when they, they reach this, the, like the entry of the bottleneck. Because if they are not into the bottleneck, you're just going to get there. And then, how uh, to say that? When they're going to push forward, you're not going to be able to retreat because uh, you're you're going to have a longer way to move from there to there than, than to there. And it's... It's, it sounds stupid like this, but by doing some, being at the good place at the good time is how you're gonna succeed to do a great play. So now that I spoke about like the angle of approach and the positionment, uh, I'm gonna speak about breaking the camera. I already spoke uh, one day ago about it into the mage. Uh, it's the same thing almost every. Uh, every build but I, I think as a melee you almost have more chance to get your camera breaking than break the camera of someone else but if you see a mage or a musket it's the it, it's the time to do it you go close to it and you spin around it it's gonna be harder for it if you fight against another melee maybe it's not the way to do it you just have to act uh, depending on the terrain and shit and the objective sometimes you have to stay on your objective or like this target selection a bit more but yeah like you just spin around your enemy it's gonna be way harder to just aim at you and further you're gonna be harder is gonna be to to spin around your enemy because the distance make it like easier to just shoot at you but closer you are it's gonna be easier to break the, the camera just like this uh stamina management really important we all know stamina management it's like you have a bar and you you do it uh in the beta, new world, new world item, new beta, there was a, it, I, nobody know if it's a glitch or they're gonna change it, but when people was uh, using stamina and then getting staggered, the stamina was taking time to come back top, uh, on, up, so if they keep it like that, it's gonna be weird, it's gonna change all the mechanic and everyone's gonna use stagger build. But right now, uh, you don't really, you, you can put stagger build and that worked really good, but uh, there's some some protection against that. If you stagger someone twice really quick, uh, he's gonna get a free dodge and it's a roll, so he's gonna get dodge really far away. So what you need to do is do a stagger and then a stun and then a stagger and then a stun because if you stagger twice, it's not doing it. And same for the stun. So stagger, stun, stagger, stun, stagger, stun, never stagger, stagger, never stun, stun. All right. And if you combo with your friend, it's really important that you do this together. Like, I'm a stagger, you stun. You stun, I stagger. And then this is how you're going to do your combo because you're going to fail a lot if you don't. So waiting for your support. Uh, sometimes you're going to play alone. So waiting for your support. Sometimes you're going to play alone and... Uh, is solo solo like and you know not gonna have support but most of the time as a melee you're gonna play with support and uh, even if they are not uh, like in your group you are into OPR and they are there around so if you see on your mini map like you can put out the map sometime and if you see people like coming you can make play of the zerg even if you're not a part of the zerg and you, you can bait people away from the main zerg fight like when there's the main zerg fight, if you manage to drag three or four people away because you just harass a bit a eater and you run away, the the peop like if it's a e girl or, or if the eater is like a bit known and the the melee really like it, he's gonna try to peel for it, and then you can drag a few people. So uh, we think for your support is a great thing, but at the same time, I'm I'm gonna put the peel straight into it. I've, I I put the peel a bit lower, but I'm gonna put, put talk about the peel now uh the peel is a really important part but there's a part that belongs to your eater too he's supposed to be able to to live against uh, 
most of the people like uh, against one to three people but it's, it's not supposed to be too long and like that depends on the build of your enemy if you have a really really good build to kill a healer you can kill your healer but like you need to just come and sometimes give, give a stagger give a help if you can uh, like uh, yeah J just appeal but at the same time don't get jabated away if your healer run away from you and you have a hard time to just follow it don't get baited by your healer away and your healer is supposed to give you good call out to uh healer are are there to give good call because they have a good view of the situation and you, you're a melee you're into it so it's hard for you to see everything so pulling in me attention from the main target i already spoke about that it can be an objective it can be a, a tank it can be like a, just the main zerg you know what i mean uh so the open field you see at the start i spoke about that spot in the map it's like not open field but this is why you you better play around those like big pillar in the map as a melee it's way better for you like the the archer gonna try to hit you and then you're gonna the, like just run around the pillar and it's gonna save your life but if you go just straight into the open field and fight it's gonna be pretty hard to just survive there you can do it with a couple bruiser and a healer but your healer have a good chance to get killed if there's a lot of uh, archer musket on the other side and mage uh so this is not a video about the weapon combo you should use and st stuff like that uh i'm still i still can see like warhammer great axe and uh sword and shield and spear you just serve up what you do with that uh, but yeah like maybe i'm gonna do another video about the best uh weapon combo but right now we are more speaking about the strats so the crash really important to to do the crash like uh, if you have a shot caller in your group or if you're with the clan try, try to keep your um you have a detonate or a ultimate and if you keep it for the crash it's gonna help a lot and there's some maybe like ability that you can better keep for this like a grav well gravity well as example all right so uh you you keep your detonate and when you see there's a big clump forming and everyone is crashing you you do it <clears throat> and it more you're tanky more you can bait a clump baiting a clump is more like just going to stand at, on the side of your uh, your teammate and then just declumping as soon as the enemy clump on you as soon as you're done with the crash because they're gonna try to crash you when they're gonna see a clump and then you decrash and then when you declump they, they're gonna be clump and then you can even reclump straight up if you're not in danger let's go crash onto him declump and crash and then declump like you, there's a lot of play like this and you need to just stay aware of you, where your and your your teammates are to do it like uh, we can speak a lot about a lot about knowing where your enemy are but knowing where your teammates are are almost they are, it's more important almost it's crazy like that it's a team play being a melee in your world it's a team play most of the time you're gonna see most of my, my of my clip are like 1v plus and i'm doing it alone but the reality of new world is mostly a team game like a war versus 50 versus 50 and yeah so yeah understanding your role so uh, you're gonna only understand your role really good when you're gonna see other people play and trying to understand them uh, if you think you're the best you're not gonna get better and by playing other role if you play mage you're gonna learn how to counter mage as a melee when to use your stagger like okay uh, i need to keep my stagger for when he's gonna do his burnout uh okay the mage have ice wall uh, you're gonna be used to use the ice wall now you know that you, you have to run on the side of it you're gonna see me sometime i get into some ice wall but most of the time i run on the side of it like uh, yeah so understanding your role it's a bit about understanding the other role too um having a good timing and not that mean not pushing along uh having a good timing you see there's a lot of people that complain sometimes even in call of duty like Oh, the timing is bad, nah, 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 nah. but the reality that all the all the pro gonna tell you in every game is if you have a bad timing, it's because most of the time you have a bad position and you try to do some wrong push. 
you have bad timing because you have a, you are at the wrong place at the wrong moment and this is creating you a bad timing so try to be at the good place at the good moment and if you think uh, if you don't understand why you die when then you, you can vote with you by any one of your friends uh, that is good and you think uh, you don't understand but you guys are smart you gonna, you're gonna understand so flanking really important to keep flanking yeah, the target selection at this moment is crucial um, it's when you flank that you need to have the best target selection and during the crash too i guess uh, so yeah so when only when you're done with all those tips then you can trust yourself and try to make a play if you don't understand the game properly and stuff you better just look at what people do and make some play of that don't try to make a play of yourself and then the people are gonna follow you because it's not gonna happen and more you're gonna get known into the game more the people are gonna saw you in opr because uh new world is a small game so you're gonna see the same people over and over in OPR and after they're gonna see you a few times. When if they see you and you, you pop off, they're just gonna follow you into it. Like uh it happened to me a lot. Like uh I go solo in OPR and people play off me. It's just like I would beat hard, like, oh it's all back, let's play off him. So yeah. I don't want to make this video too long. I think it's far enough like that. So I wish everyone a good day. Tell someone you love him. Peace out.